I guess there's no point in dilly dallying. Let's just let's just do this. Welcome to Sony State of Play May 2024 edition. Yes. Sure, sure, yeah. We we all know. Hi everyone, I'm Nasaj Kizabashi, head of product at PlayStation Studios and head of the PlayStation Productions. I'm here to welcome one of the newest members of the PlayStation Studios family, Biowalk. This team brings together some of the most talented developers in our industry, with an incredible pedigree in the online multiplayer space. We announced their first game, Concord, last year, and today they're revealing gameplay captured in-engine on PS5. But first, here's an extended vignette introducing some of the cool characters you'll find in the Concord Galaxy. Enjoy. Concord Galaxy by Firewalk. Let's see. Okay, we got a cool city. Cool area, I suppose, that we can explore. Oh, not actual gameplay. My interest has, like, I don't know, decreased by 70%. But cool, I watch, I'm watch. i watching, like, a, a nice little short film that looks like Vincent Company. It was a spontaneous creative decision made after years. I'm not just talking about his tech shit. Being really old and yes, I'm talking about his tech shit. Doesn't count as research. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Besides, it worked, didn't it? How much longer for the effort? Uh, two yeah. more minutes. Hey, start talking. Try it with hot sauce. You'll like it. Trust me. No, no, no. Do not trust him. No. Where is this coming from? It's coming from you back on the ship saying, trust me, we're professionals. We'll stick to the plan. We can do this. And then, that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what a nice, nice little short film I'm watching. Nominated for Oscar. If we don't leave with this blue light, we will. We will. I'll be waiting outside. Ah, no one moves. I'll be taking this off your hands. What? This? Funny. Whoa, bang, boom. Oh no, the hot sauce is all over me. It's hot. Sauce. Watch this be like, this isn't, it's like, it's cool and all, but it's probably gonna be like a fucking PvP shooter or something. It's not gonna be single player. It's not gonna be anything like that. Trust me. It's gonna be revealed that this thing is like, oh, an arena-based shooter with all these cool characters you play, and all the story is just gonna be like in fucking YouTube videos and in little pockets of information scattered throughout the index of the fucking settings. It's so fucking obvious that it's not. This is not a single-player game. Like it would be cool. It would be so much better if it was, but this is clearly not not one. And there's so there's gonna be so many people that's just gonna be disappointed. Goodbye. This would be a very dishonorable way for us all to die. No hurry! Nobody's dying dishonorably! And also, we're bringing this back with us! Hey, 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 Mark. What are you doing? Getting us to the rendezvous point. <laughs> Perhaps we should have let go also. One F. Do not dare. We were supposed to stick together. If you let you go, know, I will leave me. I will be. Oh, in look, there they are. I. They would be dead. They would be crippled. Okay? I don't care. Death. Almost dying is the best way to learn how not to die. Or something. I knew this was going to work. This wasn't the plan. No, it just wasn't the one we started with. 
I hate these characters already. You know what? Maybe it's a good good thing that this is probably not a single player game. Because I, I don't think I can handle this type of dialogue for more than 10 minutes. Our next job is somewhere with less scaffolding. Oh, no scaffolding. Zero scaffolding. I, I promise. We were apart for so long. I, I thought I'd never see this guy in the galaxy light. Concord is a 5v5 first person shooter. Ah! Five v five, first person shooter. You log on, you are part of the crew of the North Star, a group of guns for hire known in our galaxy as free gunners. Free gunners are those lucky enough to be free to roam the stars. They take high stake jobs on worlds across the wild space, where they face other fiercely competitive free gunner crews. Here's the very first look at the gameplay of Concord. And this is where like the interest dips even further. Yeah. It's hard work, but it's our work. And we don't take it for granted. Like I was surprised, like okay, the interest of like people well, you're free. is already like low because right of the you no know, gameplay, but now they're showing the gameplay and surprisingly enough, I bet people will be more disappointed now. I mean like what what engine are they using? Is it hard to just convert these these characters and put them into like a classic Adventure, action, adventure game. It couldn't be that hard, right? Why not? And in the wilds, it's anyone's game. It's so amazing that we didn't even get to see these types of abilities. Finally, to battle. In other games, you know, these these, these abilities of like. This is the first time I've seen that. Wow, look at that. This is like never done before, never seen before, you know. This crew will go anywhere. Take any job. Face any enemy. Um, like the positives are like the graphics are nice, but if it, if this is like competitive, like you would turn it down regardless, right? It doesn't matter how beautiful your graphics are if you're a pro player, you would turn that shit down. Unless you're playing in a tournament where they give you like a RTX 80 fucking 6000 type X212 or whatever. If you're playing this at home, even if you're connected to like... Uh, for Ethernet. Would you like to join us for a game night? With Concord, we lean on the strengths and background of our team to make a tight, well balanced FPS that you still turn the graphics down. We focused a ton of our attention honest, and our tech good. on building a strong gameplay foundation of tight core movement, precise visceral shooting, and expressive abilities. We ended up finding ourselves influenced a lot by fighting games and even strategy games in the interesting way that the fighting games, strategy games, every fight, every matchup feel really different. You know, walking we simulators, everything. Characters, really pushing the possibility space. Why not? Just say that. Just colliding. It's all about creating opportunities for improvisation. That's where we can get out of the way and let players find their own magic. We I mean, it looks nice. That are meant to have I'm not saying it looks or bad or anything. I'm not the saying it's, gear it's dog shit. Throughout a full it looks very well polished. Or multiple respawns across the and the aesthetic their healing pads bullet blocking it's cool it's cool but it's, the market is so saturated right? and, right? and I, I think like even Valve is doing one too right so I have no idea what they're playing at with this I just hope that they know what they're doing and I just hope like I don't know that the fucking big heads and the big lore like every character the bosses personality the bosses think that they, there's, there's more room in this space for these types of games, so who am I to argue with them? Then the that will give you a chance to see our characters off the job. They will feature ongoing narrative arcs that grow the characters' stories and relationships, and unpack the broader Concord galaxy. Why are you kissing a tchotchke? 
We're excited to share the well, video. I'm just checking my volume tonight. levels to see if uh, like I'm actually listening. Well, maybe I am, maybe I'm not. Fuck it. I don't do shit. It's better if the fucking audio of the state of play isn't uh, audible because you, you won't hear this bullshit spewing out of your mouth on our pack. Like, who gives a shit? Who even is a monarch? What is a monarch pack? Just that, like a costume, or whatever. This reminds me a lot of like a little bit of Cartoon Network style, like modern Cartoon Network. They have like these sliding tiles. You seem like a calm. It's the Ragnarok. This PC gameplay. A calm, reasonable person. I bet like. My new laptop that I'm looking forward to buy can run this just fine, I think. RCX 4050, right? And that can work. Hey, Kratos. War is coming! The prophecies say Fem Winter leads to Ragnarok. Hey, I forgot how powerful the PS5 is. I have to look that up. You will die, Kratos of Sparta. Death can have me. These are th these are words Odin's that only aliens recognize. Look at his I understand. I understand that. Isn't Valhalla DLC free anyways? So like what? Includes a DLC that's free, so you don't need to spend like what three minutes downloading it. It's nice, or a convenient feature. It's packed in box. Sorry if I'm being a little bit too cynical, but we already knew Ragnarok is coming to PC anyway, so not that much excitement. So I'm just like talking out of my ass to fill out the time. Another what is this Warriors game? Soldiers and officials. Dynasty Warriors game? Probably. Trust the people for personal gain, and the people must turn to. Yeah, hey, look how evil we are. Henchmen, shit, we steal stuff. Omega Force. Perhaps this is heaven's way of lamenting the state of the land. Men are powerless at the feet of the divine. This has to be Dynasty Warriors. Well, There's no so, way. Someone must act. Okay, no, no, it's not. It's not from the same studio, so. Or maybe it is. Fucking, I don't know. It is Dynasty Warriors. In a world of chaos, create more chaos. Nameless hero, Dynasty Warriors, Origins. Everything has to be. A, everything has to be an origin story. Sure, I'm excited. I mean, I have like the only Warriors game I have is the Zelda one. And this is. Um, I guess no. I'm not interested in at all. So, are you ready for it? Ready. Ready. Uh. Sorry. I'm so sorry, but like, who's the target audience for this? I think not me. Look at the scenery, wow. Whoa, I can't really appreciate it that much because of the fucking compression. Thanks, IGN. Like, take pictures and battle shit and then stuff and then, like, do your stuff. I mean, it looks interesting. Just like the. Uh, Type of vibe that it's going for. 
Infinity Nikki. Is it you who pursues infinity? Or is infinity awaiting you? Oh shit. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Stars. Like I said, like the vibe that's going for. It's like a cutesy RT game, but like there's some there's some stuff underneath the surface that's intriguing. So she cut my nails. It's Friday. Until the towering shadows vanished into the mist. I pray for their grace. Whoa, it's like inferior shades. Uh, I love voice acting. Oh my god. Mortality. Okay. These essences shall not fall into your treacherous hands. Well, I understand the core audience of this now. Away so. with emissaries. Grant us the forgotten miracles. Rave fire. So. <laughs> I mean, do I need to say what this game is like inspired by? Seemingly, do I even need to say it? Do I even need to say the genre that it's trying to occupy, or at least seemingly so with the trailer? No matter what happens, we did not betray this world. Antara, Ballad of Antara. You know, interesting because Antara in Malay means like in the middle. Like among, like Antara Subhadra, like among the reasons. Skydance usually makes films, but let's see. I mean, PlayStation VR basically is a film, I guess. I thought I could be a hero and break the curse, but I was a first person film. The Walking Dead. Huh, interesting. I, I no heard that's a good game, for like a good VR game at least. And the gods that walk among us, among us. We're just talking about Mom. Now we have Among Us. Sorry, I mean like since 2020, I think our brain chemistry has irreversibly been altered, you know, as a society. If you're at, like in the age of like 19 to 28. You're toast, okay? You can't live your thirties with pizza. The poison in my veins begs me to kill. And kill. You're already doing it. Fuck. The power of our god is immeasurable. Honestly, the fidelity of this could be a hero is on par with Skyrim special edition. I'm gonna be honest with you. But for a VR game, is that sufficient? I have no idea. I've never owned a VR headset. A PlayStation VR. Oh. oh, it's a big boy. It's a bigger boy. It's a bigger boy than the last boy. Another VR game by 20th century now. Okay. I'm missing a pattern. Purden. P type. Middle heavens. Micor sector. Okay. Is this just like a re release of the first alien game? Or is it like. Okay, it is. Okay. Alien rogue incursion. Um, I'm pretty sure fans will be happy with this. Yeah, why not? Wish this now. Sure, go ahead. Go ahead and wish list stuff on your PlayStation Store. Hi everyone, I'm Sean Benson. I'm back on State of Play to introduce more exciting titles. Global third party. That's the Starting name of the company. G GTP. Playable soon on PS5. Let's stop. Marvel, the new Marvel thing. Collaboration with collaboration at ease. Like Twitter is hyping this shit up. Like this game, 
They're really interesting. Maybe it's just like the comic book part of Twitter, but I think in general people are interested, at least interested in this. It's not met with the general apathy these types of games are met with usually. When a new one comes out, or at least it's introduced to public. It seems like... You know? They got their core audience now, they got their... Well, I'll get it right the time. They got their, got their monies already, you know? You're gonna get the money back already, that's what I'm saying. Okay, destruction shit. That's pretty cool. I bet it's like only some parts, but regardless. Some interactivity is good. Of the environment, you know. Still hate the Spider-Man design. It's not the worst. But it's, it's doing too much. I like the other costumes just fine and the other designs, but I think like Spider-Man, Spider-Man needs to have like a certain simplicity to him. Yeah, um, some grifters on the internet are trying to find an angle with like Lady Galactus or whatever, the daughter of Galactus. They did. They want to like say it's woke because they gender bent it. You know, it's like a completely different character. And some people like are going for the Twitter is getting mad at Lady Galactus for being cute angle, which I think is a harder angle to go with. Not many people are doing that, but you know, you can always find random accounts with two, three followers to get mad at and make money with. Sadly, that is YouTube encourages that, you know? I try to dismiss them, I try to dismiss those videos constantly when they show up on my homepage. They still show up. That's why I watch my YouTube videos on private. Because I'm not gonna give the algorithm what it wants with my account. Fuck that. It's like, my account's like a remnant of my taste in 2020. Like I've stopped using my main account for watching videos in 2020. Since 2020, started using private. So it's like basically stuck in time. Hello, friends and fans. I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood. And blanked out with the last game. <laughs> Another one of these games. Sure, why not? That was that was one solid snowball. It means so much to me that we're all still here together. That we're all still here together. Okay. Someone's watching us. There's no one out there. Let's make this one trip we will never forget. Oh, I see that boot on the couch that didn't touch the boot at all. Mike, Emily. Oh, it's like a remake of Until Dawn. Is it a remake or remaster? I think it's just a remaster for, of Until Dawn for PC. Is it? Is it? Like, this is their first game from the studio, is like their best one. Because like all the later ones, it's so messy and buggy and like the story sucks shit. At least this one is like a little bit more self-aware. What he's trying to do with the tropes and shit. It's got Rami Malik. Fuck. PS5 and PC. Why? Did you just buy it on PS4 and shove it in your PS5? It's a PS4 disc. Why not? You don't get the graphical fidelity upgrades or whatever. Grinding, you know what grinds my gears? Ogham was once a peaceful land. But each day descends further into madness. Famine and plague besiege us. 
The very earth is being poisoned. Cool, top down. The Count's men, once our protectors. Let's begin down top. Yes. Why not? How about that? And now, they come for me. Okay. That girl wearing a cage for a hat. Oh, cool. Hey, buddy, you want to play this game with me? Okay. Crouton. Crouton. I like that logo though, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, Path of Exile. Two? Yeah, two. Um, dedicated fanbase. Um, I'm, yeah. Better looking forward to this one. It's free, right? The first one is free. I. Excuse me, call correctly. I'm sorry. I, I was just. It's okay. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> so, I'm kind of lost. I'm looking for silence. Needs more fog. To be honest with you, it's not foggy you enough. Away. This town, like it looks great, but it needs more fog. It? It's not enough. Is it dangerous? Like I don't want to be able to see the characters at all. I'll be careful. I'm not lying. Okay, the facial animations aren't that great, but the first one, <laughs> it's not like a graphical masterpiece or whatever, but it has a tone that it accomplishes with the graphical capabilities, or like limitations, I guess. People are mad at the gameplay because it's like, oh, it's like over the shoulder, and like whatever. But Resident Evil made that change, and people love that game, you know, Resident Evil 2. I'll be good, I promise. Tell him I'll be good, please. Tell him I'll be good, please. But like, and then people are pointing, well, Resident Evil's like a, a more action packed game than Silent Hill. It's much, it's much more atmospheric, it's meant to be. There's this and that. I don't know, I think this is, I'm giving Blue Routine uh, the last chance, okay? Capcom announced this next game last December. Let's, let's see if they can cook, for their okay, let's see. Franchise. It looks Today, fine. I am so excited to share the first full gameplay trailer for Monster Hunter Wilds. I don't care. Like, whoa, it plays like Monster Hunter. Pretty fucking cool. Dude, I need your mascara. Get it's really not it's easy to find in this fucking wasteland. Skincare routine? I need that shit. Cause if you're living out there in the fucking desert, still have that? Still have your face out looking all smooth and shit? No man, I need your creed. That didn't come out right. Although, I wouldn't mind. Me neither. Yeah, me too. Oh, look at that. It's got some ecosystem and shit. So, like, with all the monster hunting, I'm just like, I'm just uh, asking questions here. Like, did they ever acknowledge that? Maybe they're they're hunting too many monsters, or is that like the the type of world they live in? It's just monsters are everywhere. They're abundant. They're like an excess resource. Now commencing the hunt by order of the guild. Oh, 
Looks nice. I'm not done yet. Looks nice. Um, in terms of like, thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I think like this is the best game out of every single one I've seen so far. In terms of the quality and the prestige, and the recognizability, recognition. Iceborne. What? Team Asobi, and it looks like that little guy from the, the PS5 demo, and it is. It is. So they're just making a sequel or whatever, because it's like the best game, best exclusive. It's not. It's not even like debatable. The demo for the PS5 demo for the controller. PS5 exclusive. Find me a PS5 exclusive better than the demo. Not counting any remakes either. Like original PS5 exclusive. I'm guessing like, fuck it, this is like a new Tearaway or a new Little Big Planet, you know. This isn't that the vibe that I'm getting with. You know, providing a very creative, unique experience using the, the let's be cute, using the uh, controller, the capabilities of the console itself. It is Little Big Planet. It just is. No, without, but without the customization, I guess. Uh, or uh, level making. This is so shameless. I would be more excited, more joyful about this if it came out a year or two after PS5 came out. Like, if this came out in 2022, not announced, but came out in 2022, it would probably be like a good, like a good momentum builder for the PS5. Or like, um, maintaining the momentum, I might say. I didn't know Aladdin was a PS5 thing, Sony thing. Is it free? Give it to us for free, cowards. Be sure to visit PlayStation Blog for more on the games you just saw as well as PlayStation.com for the latest uh, on ironically, I'm more excited about Astro Bot. This runs through June 12th, with deals on PlayStation Store, great new Back when, like, the PS5 released in uh, 2020 December, like, Demon Souls wasn't there, yeah, I was like, damn, it looks so good, but that PS5 demo, though, the Astro Bot shit, oh, I did just, okay.
audio just increased when it's over. Is that it? Oh, this is just them talking about games. You know, trying to pad out the live stream. This thing is like, what, barely an hour? And it somehow managed to quadruple that time. Amazing, IGN. Great job. So, the Sony State of Play Me 2024 live stream. It was so, so bad. It was nothing. Don't you think, like, you could have just made, like, a, at least, like, a, a mini state of play? If you don't have that many games, just release the trailers. Yeah, make it shorter. Don't need any talking heads or whatever. Just gameplay trailer of the gameplay trailer of the gameplay trailer. That's all you need. Like, two games that I'm most excited for is a sequel uh, to a franchise that I'm never going to play, which is Monster Hunter. Okay? That's a game I'm never going to play. Okay? And Astrobot. A follow-up to a PlayStation demo. That was kind of a waste of time. Really, it is. But at least I know now that there's another PS5 exclusive, which is an Astrobot. All right, I'm done. I'm giving I'm giving this presentation a uh, whatever. I'm gonna give it a score. Sure, why not? Um, a three out of ten.